it's uh, when all the, these guys leave and they get GM jobs and they say, what's the biggest difference between the job I have now and the job I'm going into? And I said, you wake up in the morning with a knot in your stomach, you go to bed in a knot in your stomach. Yeah. And you just, you know that there's gonna be an issue you're gonna have to deal with every single day. And you just prepare yourself for that, you know? Like, that you don't, and when things are going good and you take your foot off the gas, get your ass kicked. And so I think for me, it was like, you know, I would love to do what these coaches did, which is, you know, you see these these coaches who get let go, and they go around and, and they, they go to other, uh, they go to college, they go to other NFL teams, and they learn, and they, they kind of work on themselves. And I felt like there weren't a lot of people, maybe there were, but there weren't a lot of people who are doing what you're doing now. And so I, I went to Jeffrey and I said, hey, this is what I would like to do. You know, I knew this was coming, this is what I'd like to do, and he said, I think it would be great. And so I, I got this opportunity, and I really feel like it was the best thing professionally that ever happened to me because I got an opportunity to step back, I got an opportunity to work on a lot of my deficiencies, and even more so, I got a freaking masters in running sports teams. To talk to the best GMs in the NBA, I mean, a mutual friend, R.C. Buford, who, I mean, the best, right? We talked about Coach Reed and Coach Belichick, that's R.C., right? the best. You know, and uh, the best teams in baseball, the best teams in hockey, and then being able to go over the pond and go to Europe and go to Manchester City and learn what they're doing in the EPL and you know a bunch of our friends cy and cycling and and just how they build their teams how they build their staff what they do and um, some of the leadership points it was unbelievable and really I didn't do it thinking like hey I'm gonna come back in here and I'm gonna go get another opportunity I did it because I felt like it was such a great opportunity personally and professionally to be able to do that